Hi, my name is Vineet and I'm going to show you how creating sub-VIs works in LabVIEW. A sub-VI is a good way to simplify your block diagram as well as make code more modular so that you can easily reuse it in other applications. And if we look over to the LabVIEW program that I've got here, it's just a simple program that converts from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. As I move the value here on the slider, I can see the corresponding degrees Celsius value appear in the thermometer. And if we look at the block diagram, this particular section of code here is a great example of something that I might want to turn into a sub-VI. I can select the section of code that I'm interested in and go up to the Edit menu and select Create Sub-VI here. And you can see, instead of having several mathematical operations, suddenly I've now got a single icon with one input and one output that has wrapped up the code that I originally had. If I double-click on it, I can open it up and even look and see what its, its block diagram looks like. And you can see it's the same code that I had selected. And really, you can see that it's just like any other VI. It's just a VI that's called within another VI. And it still has a front panel. It still has a block diagram. Now, one good thing about using sub-VIs is, is the ability to modify them and add additional functionality. So let's say in this example, we want to add some code in order to make that conversion optional for the user. So let's say we want to add an enable and disable toggle switch. And that way, when this function is called, you can actually choose to, uh, to convert it or not convert it and just pass the Fahrenheit value directly through. I'm going to right click on the block diagram um, on the front panel, and I'm going to drop down a Boolean toggle switch. I can see the corresponding switch appear on the block diagram here. And what I'm going to do is add a case structure around the code that I want to make optional. So I can go to the Structures palette. I can drop down the case structure here. And then I can wire the Boolean toggle switch over to the Select terminal, or the Condition terminal, for the case structure. So in the true case, I want it to execute the mathematical code. And in the false case, I'm just going to pass the temperature value right through to the output. So now I've got a program that's written. And if I were to run this, I'll be able to use the toggle switch in order to convert or not convert. Um, the last thing I want to do is actually add a connection for this Boolean toggle switch over to the terminal of the icon itself, of the sub-VI icon. So I can right click and I can say show connector. And in this case, there's only two connections. There's an input and output connection. Well, I can right click on that and I can say add terminal. And now this additional square has appeared that's at this point blank. I'm going to wire this bottom corner over to this Boolean control. And now the terminal has two inputs and one output. This particular terminal is used, this terminal configuration is, is really what's used to connect front panel objects of a sub-VI to the calling application, to the bigger VI that's then calling it. And it's able to pass data then into and, and take from that sub-VI. If I switch back, I can show the icon again on the top left, on the top right. And this is just the basic default picture that appears every time you create a sub-VI. But it's also good to customize that picture in order to make it a little bit more meaningful for what that sub-VI is used for. So let's right click on that and say Edit Icon. The Icon Editor is, uh, is here to allow us to add text and graphics and make that picture a little bit more meaningful. And so in this case, I'm just going to select everything that's there currently, and I'm just going to delete it. And then I'm going to choose a picture that better represents what the sub-VI is for. In fact, there's a, a picture here that has a thermometer in it. And I can scroll down. There it is. I can drop this in. And now I've got a picture of a thermometer with a degree Celsius here. And this, this will work great for my function. I'm going to hit OK. And you can see the updated picture now displays. And if I go to my original application, you can see I can, you can see the updated picture is there as well. I also want to be able to relink this icon with the original one because I've added some things to the terminals. So I can right click on that and I can say relink to sub-VI. And now instead of just one input, it actually has two inputs. The Boolean input is now, has now appeared on the larger calling application. I'm going to right click and create a control for that. And Suddenly, you can see this Boolean toggle switch has appeared on the front panel. And that's what's going to allow me to enable or disable the temperature conversion. Let's go ahead and run this VI. And at, by default, the Boolean switch is off, which means the conversion is false. And I'm just passing that value directly through the sub-VI.
So as I move the toggle switch, I see the same value appearing on both the, the slider and the thermometer. If I turn the toggle switch on, now I've got the corresponding degree Celsius temperature. And I can again move the slider and see what that corresponding value is on the thermometer. So that's a brief introduction to how creating sub-VIs works in LabVIEW.